Happy birthday, December 9th, Sagittarians. If you're a cross watcher or just a Sagittarius in general and this resonates with you, then that's fine too. As readings are timeless, so for the time that you are watching it, it could be relevant. So for January, we got Five of Winter, Collie Dog, your current path isn't leading you toward the happy, happiest possible income outcome. Oh my goodness, I can't talk today. <laughs> so why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others. For your oracle card, you got sound healing, healing tones, self-expression, and music. I thought it would be a good idea to read this card because these oracle cards really kind of give you just more than a general feel for I think what could be for explaining the regular tarot cards as well. So um, the key phrases for this card is expressing oneself, listening, finding personal healing or upliftment through sound or music. Through expressing yourself effectively, authentically or inspirationally, you have the power to heal a situation or improve your prospects with the relationship, project or job, which could coincide with this tarot card where it says it's leading you toward the happiest possible income or it's not actually so if you should change it and maintain integrity and compassion and being alert to the agendas of others you're being authentic to yourself your own self-expression and expressing yourself um so perhaps you feel the urge to become a speaker, teacher, or someone who communicates insight, wisdom, inspiration, or something else creative. And if you are being encouraged to follow your heart and let go of what others might think or whether you'll be perfect at it, what isn't perfect can be improved always if you're willing to practice. Um, on the other hand, drawing this card could be asking you to consider whether there's something you need to listen to more closely, such as an inspirational message or deeper insight you're receiving. Concerning your health, perhaps singing, toning, or utilizing a form of sound healing would be of benefit. Or it could be that you need to speak your truth more authentically, as I said, and communicate your feelings or learn to dance to your own tune. So... Be alert to others' agendas, listen to your own self, and live your authentic life. That's January. For February, we have two of spring, which is the pelican. And it says, your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be your best interest to get a partner to assist in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. Maybe you're moving. Um, it does say opportunity, timeliness, and pay attention. So pay attention and maybe get a workout buddy. If you're moving, get others to help and assist you. Um, in March, you have renewal. Raccoon, it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you forgive what others forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come which coincides with your oracle card take a stand be heard and support a cause i feel like in march you'll be supporting a cause as you will be um basically uh getting clarity about a life purpose and making changes so that you are on a more divinely suited path to yourself so there um april you have balance which is the zebra by merging ver varying uh points of view you can generate an extraordinary new idea you can promise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution the Oracle card for this was Healing, Answered Prayers, and Remission. May, you have the Emperor, number four. The Deer Mouse, structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. The Oracle card for this was Amusement, Entertainment, and Captivation. So, 
perhaps you are going to be distracted in some way and you really need to get structured and organized. So try not to be uh, distracted. But a pleasant distraction is always kind of nice too if you're busily organizing, right? Just have balance, remember, in April, you know, to stay balanced. Okay, in June we have the Queen of Summer, who is compassionate, loving, caring, and psychic. And it is representative of the swan. And it says, this is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others, which a lot of people do. You put yourself on the back burner, you know, to put others before you. And it says, celestial encounters, heavenly from the stars beyond the veil. This is a beautiful card, and it coincides, I think, with the uh, the Queen of Summer being the psychic abilities. And I wanted to read this card to you just to expand your knowledge on it. The key phrases are messages from heaven, seeing beyond the veil, the cosmos, astrology, angelic or astro extraterrestrial encounters. And if you've been feeling the presence of angels or departed loved ones, it's possible that they're trying to pass on a message. This could be a message of loving support, or it could be more instructive, or maybe your intuition is exceptionally high right now, allowing you to see more easily what's hidden from the earthly eye. At times, this card indicates the reader is positively affected by astrological transits or cosmic occurrences. Or if you've been feeling the urge to study topics related to the cosmos, astrology, aliens, angels, or mediumship, um, such a venture might be worth it. Whatever endeavor you embark, embark upon or question you've asked, remember that you're not alone in the universe as angels and unseen helpers are nearby to offer their support. Ever put something out there to the universe or say a prayer? and want to do something new and have no idea how to do it and then you kind of just leave it up to god in the universe and then miraculously you start meeting people that coincide with your desires and wishes and you start learning new things i think that's kind of like what this card talks about too in july you have king of winter pretty much this guy's been popping up all month long for you guys and sagittarians so should be no surprise, uh, King of Winter is very sharp and to the point, uh, coincides winter with the swords and traditional tarot. At this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional, and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert that you can find. Intelligent, impartial, respected, and unemotional are the keywords for this card. For your oracle card, you have Black Swan, who also keeps kind of popping up, an unforeseen event, or surprise, or hindsight. So, what I get from this is that possibly something is going to happen, and you just might need a little bit of expert advice, and this King of Winter is the one that you want to kind of seek out for that advice, somebody um, that is most experienced to possibly help you with some sort of surprise that comes your way or maybe, you know, hindsight, looking back at the past or some, something like that. In August, we have the sun, number 19, which is the bluebird. Your plan will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. Hopefully, Maybe you're listening to the professional advice that you received the month before, which will bring about success. And you'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So that's always a good card. Hands that heal. Healing ability, magic touch, hands-on. Maybe you're a massage therapist or a healer or a therapist of some sort. And that is the recognition you will encounter. Could also just be, you know, a mother who's really hands-on with their children or a father um, 
or a grandparent that takes care of the grandkids a lot. It has that healing magic touch. Okay. September, we have Prince of Winter. So something's coming in fast. Get ready for progress to speed up. The situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decisions quickly. Something will be coming in that you need to make a decision quickly. And your Oracle card is urging you to stay home. There's the comforts of home, family, and leisure, and there's no place like home. So if you have to travel and you make need to make a decision, maybe staying home is the best idea in September. October says two of autumn, the obsessing cat. You may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It is important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. You know, I was just thinking about this this morning too, that laughter and comedy make every situation so much better, even stressful ones. So maybe watch more comedies, laugh Find the funniness in, you know, the balance of work and personal life and um, bring that spirit of the fun that you always um, want in your life to both your work and personal life to make things a little bit more smoother and happier and dealing with stress better, I think. The Oracle card was intensity, intense feeling, sexual passion, and fervor. So, just remember, balance, right? He doesn't look very balanced. He looks like something scared him or it took him by surprise and he's kind of off balance. So remember to be balanced. And the autumn is also with pentacles. So make sure you're being balanced in your finances. Maybe you're not spending too much in October here. Don't overdo those Halloween decorations. In November, we have five of autumn, the manatee. Focusing upon the negative or worrying about money or your career can block your progress. So take heed that warning in October to keep balance in your finances. Um, because your trust and faith are at a low point right now, it's not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed. Okay. And that's funny because five of autumn is change. Like five is means change and autumn is money. So... You also got this Akashic Records upside down. Now, I know that I put all these cards up, right? And I even checked when this came out upside down. So I took it as it resonated because I felt like, well, if it's upside down, it's upside down for a reason. Now, Akashic Records is deeper knowing archaic wisdom in history. So maybe there's a history of, you know, these feelings your trust and faith being at a low point and so you need to overcome this by becoming more balanced in your life so just check to see that you're heeding that warning in October not overspending and hopefully you can avoid this November low point um, in December you have princess of winter logical truthful curious and undiplomatic with the seagull this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution it's if helpful information is put to you bluntly accept the message without being bothered by the messenger you know accept the message don't kill the messenger um, this person is logical truthful curious and undiplomatic so it might be another fellow Sagittarius that sometimes they can put their own foot in their mouth or speak think you know speak without thinking being very undiplomatic and blunt, but telling you the truth of what you need to know. Um, the Oracle card with this was cherished pet, receiving care, attention, and domestication. Um, we'll go over that card real quick. Let me just get the page. Sorry, I'm one-handed here. Hmm, this is a long one. Okay. So the cherished pet, receiving care, attention, domestication, love for pets and animals. So a friend, coworker, boss, or loved one may be attentive toward you, recognize your efforts, or aspire to meet your needs. In work matters, perhaps you're about to be honored with a raise or given a special title. Your work contributions are likely to be valued. If your question involves a relationship, perhaps you feel cared for or treated as a special pet by the one you adore. Such a partner may want more than just a fling or may be intent on taming you or domesticating you. 
If desired by both of you, this could potentially lead to living together or creating a family. But do you really want to be a capped pet? I don't know. If your question involves your spiritual growth, you may want to find ways to cherish yourself, nurture your inner child, or work with totem animals and their medicines. At times, the appearance of this card indicates that showing affection for or tending to the needs of pets and animals may bring both you and them joy. I think there's a lot of people in the world that need a pet because a lot of pets need you. Anywho, maybe you'll get a pet in December, right? Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Here's the overall view of it. It's beautiful. And happy birthday. See you tomorrow for December 10th. Thank you.